Hi gorgeous and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a very quick review over the new Huda Beauty blush filter. I picked up the shade Cotton Candy. This thing is an incredible price point. I paid $22, I believe it was $22 off of Sephora. It is a 12 month shelf life and you get 4.5 mLs of product in here. And there are five shades, however I only wanted the one. Surprisingly though, the packaging for something as cost efficient as this is absolutely amazing. The shade is incredible. What a beautiful soft pink shade. It has a pleasing like strawberry candy scent to it. And I expected, I know I referenced the packaging just a moment ago, but I expected this to be much more lightweight and like a little bit cheaper feeling but it's not. It's actually very pleasing to hold and I feel like this is going to be very simple and like low maintenance to store. I don't think I'll have any problems traveling with this as well. As I mentioned there are five different shades. It is lightweight, melts on the skin, and gives a soft focus finish. All of my face makeup is finished except for my blush and for my eyes I used my rose quartz palette. Social media has gone absolutely wild with this product. Everyone is making their reels and their TikToks, whatever it is, and I apologize if I don't seem excited. However, I am very excited. This is a fun little product. I do have the cream stick blush that she launched. I believe that was two years ago or so. This one I'm a little more excited for. I find liquids to be a little bit easier to work with. And I like the fact that they marketed it as so easy to use, you can use it blindfolded. I think that's just fun and clever. And when she uploaded her post on Instagram, Huda had mentioned that they didn't even test that before they sent out the PR saying you could do this blindfolded. So she put on her blindfold and did it. And it worked. I was impressed, it worked. This shade was actually the most appealing to me and I think it's probably going to work the best for my skin tone. The scent doesn't bother me. It's pretty light, but it has a very pleasing like strawberry candy type of scent. It's actually quite blurring and it's a lot more matte than I thought it would be. I thought it would have a little bit more of a glow to it, but it has that filtered effect like she had shown on her Instagram. I do agree with that. I do think there is a soft blurring like filtered look to it. This time I'm going to apply it directly to my cheeks. I do have a set base and she did mention that you can use this over powder and I am using a Danessa Myricks My Kit Co. My 8 brush. I want to see if it will disturb my face makeup. My voice is still not back to 100%. I'm still a little sick and still have a sore throat. It's blending perfectly fine. I think I like it more put on the back of my hand and picked up with the brush that way. What do we think? I think the color is beautiful. I think the formula feels very nice. It's not affecting my foundation or the powder that I had used on my cheeks. Nothing has moved. My face looks blurred and filtered where I placed the shadow. That much I'll agree with. It has a very soft filtering look to it. So as far as marketing claims, I do think it lives up to that claim. It's beautiful. I'm still going to powder over it. I like to put powder over my liquids, but for this product, I think I could get away with using it without it. It's not tacky. In fact, it doesn't feel sticky at all. I think it's set down pretty quickly, to be honest with you. And I think it would play well with powder over the top, but since I did put powder down first, I think this is an incredible product for the price that I paid for this. Honestly, it, you can't go wrong. I probably should have picked up more than one shade. There was still another shade that I was intrigued by, but I wasn't sure if I was going to like it. I don't have a lot of Huda products. In fact, I think it's just eyeshadows and a couple stick blushes. That's about it. And maybe a concealer. I definitely like the ones that I have. I haven't had any duds from her. So, so far so good. And I think I will need to get that strawberry shade is more of like a mauve rose shade. I do like this. This actually worked really lovely. And just for fun, I kind of want to see if I can place it on my lips. Ooh, that is a little more opaque than my actual lipstick. Actually, that works. That looks beautiful. 
This thing is so beautiful and I had such an easy time applying it. It did not disturb my makeup underneath. It blended smoothly. It's diffused. I didn't have to spend any time working at it. I would say for the price that I paid for this, this is probably one of the best blushes I have purchased since April because quite frankly, a lot have come out. I have so many new liquid and cream blushes and baked blushes too. So many new blushes have launched. This one I think is top tier. I wanna compare this one to the Armani liquid blushes that launched because this one was slightly easier to use than that if I recall correctly. And I'm more intrigued by the fact that this is so good at the price that it's at. Might end up being my new favorite blush of 2024 to be quite honest. Tell me if you guys picked up this blush or not or if you're intrigued by it. I hope this little video helped. Everything on my face is linked down in the description box. If you click on those links to make a purchase, I do earn a small commission. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. Do something for yourself today because you are worth it.